Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. Thanks for tuning in for another journal with me. This is my title cover page for June and I'm moving on to the session. So you saw my title page. I have it split half Universal and half Disney. Universal is all about Harry Potter. So that is why I have that as my cover page for June. Obsessed with that right now. So moving on to June 1st, I did some journaling there on the top portion it is in spanish as well as on june 2nd at the bottom portion since i'm trying to brush up with um that language so uh, they say you can uh, have better uh, grasp and learning when you also write in spanish so june 1st was all about uh, mason he had his awards this day and he got a honor roll and it was just so great to see him go on stage and and accept his award and if it was different you know mask and everything you know he uh, you know two people you have to have a ticket and it was it, there were restrictions and changes due to the pandemic but um it was still an awesome awesome memory so i'm moving on to <laughs> i before this day even started back in the middle of the night at 2 30 in the morning Right here, I had made a mistake, so I placed that two there and then realized that I have the colored uh, background to place for the clock. And I realized I placed the two in the wrong spot. So the test <laughs> uh, the test color that I um, tried out, I end up going with that. I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to cover it up. So now, before I even uh, glue it down, I'm going to make sure I stamp out the right time. So around 2.30 in the morning... I bolt up, scared out of my wits. I, it was just, I have fell asleep on the couch. Normally when my husband and I, if you hear any noise in the background, that's my kitten. She could not be, um, roaming around. She had to come in here with the, in the craft room with me. She wouldn't stop crying at the door. So if you hear any scribbling, I'm so sorry in advance. Anywho, so... Whenever my husband and I stay up late watching TV, normally I pass out on the couch. And when I pass out on the couch, I pass out on the couch. I am done. You cannot get me up. <laughs> so for me to get suddenly just bolt upright, since I, I something scared the shit out of me. I mean, like dead serious. It was thunder. It was so loud that it woke me up. Oh my god. And then I went to the restroom because obviously I'm already up now. And the lights started flickering in the restroom. Shoot, I was out of there. And psh, I was so edgy. It took me about at least an hour to get back to sleep. So that was my night. Especially since I'm normally used to the house being like really kind of like loud with the kids and everything. So 2.30 in the morning is like, you know, like a freaking ghost town. And... <laughs> Things are flickering due to the storm, and so it was just one of those days where I'm just like, I can't go back to sleep, but I don't hear any kids, you know, um, it was just too eerie quiet, and then at the same time, the storm just suddenly, um, hit thunder, you know, and then it was raining, and I bent inside, though, it was just quiet, it was just, I was wired for a little while, <laughs> talk about a rude, rude awakening, Anyway, so I'm just looking for some sentiments here to uh, go with Mason just being so happy that you know we, we were we got to see his awards and he got a honor roll oh seeing him on the stage we both got some uh, big tears <laughs> parent tears there we're so proud of him you hear the kitten she's just at my feet she wants to get up so I'm just grabbing out some stickers. Moving on to June 2nd. Uh, oh, I'm also participating in the Doodles and Oodles of Doodle Challenge. And it's uh, like with all kinds of um, rainbow colors. So as you can see there, I drew a rainbow. That was for day two. And on the bottom there, I drew pizza because I just had such a down day. I don't know what it was. So I have a couple of stickers here. I don't know how to act to my age. I've never been this age before. And inhale, exhale. And that was just, I don't know why. I felt like so lonely, so sad for everything. And my husband took me out to eat at Cece's Pizza, which um, if you've been here before, you, I, we eat that <laughs> often. 
and I just love the buffalo hot wing pizza. He just took me there to uplift my mood because he knew I was just having one of those days. I don't know if it's because I'm just home all the time or when, you know, just, I don't know. It was just one of those days. Moving on to the fourth, uh, the third, I'm sorry, the third was the last day of school for the boys. So I placed all those stickers there. Give yourself a little pep talk. Mama said there'd be days like this and busy, busy and relax. And um, they were really happy for their last day of school. And the challenge of the drawing was a lollipop. And then moving to the fourth, it was ice cream scoops. And we also watched that film, so that's why. I found those stickers at the dollar store, so if you're ever looking for some embellishments to kind of, like, help with, you know, movies and, and themes, um, they were wall stickers. And I think I found, like, the Rugrats, and I've uh, seen Mermaid ones, I've seen the Alphabet, in case you wanted to do, like, specific themed ones, so just throwing it out there. Cheap uh, embellishments there, stickers. They even have, like, quotes and stuff that you can place. Anywho, moving on to the fifth, I'm just placing these down for my husband. He ha went shopping for Father's Day items since he knew what he wanted. So I'm going to be placing the three items that he bought that day. The challenge for that day was also um, the Fruit Loops. So you see that bow up top. I feel like I'm, ha I'm just having so much fun drawing that I see more items in my everyday life uh, that I want to draw now. So that's a win. She's trying to get the kitten. I had to pick her up there, this kitten. She was just... Okay, so now I'm just going back and I'm adding in my days of the week since I have a terrible tendency to forget. And, um, okay, so I'm moving on to the fifth. It was just a highlight of my husband shopping for Father's Day items. Work hard and stay humble because he did really, he is amazing. So many ways, not just a great father, but also a great husband. So now, um, I'm just showing you really quick some of the things that I did since I don't know what happened there. I think the camera, or I think I added too much, but, um, no, actually I didn't record this part. Uh, I stopped to find something and then forgot to start recording. That's what it was. And I just want to show you, I got these, uh, stickers from where, and I just kept on drawing and getting uh, creative. So I drew inside out cause I just had so many emotions that day. So, but then by the time I got to joy, which is supposed to be in the middle, um, I got burnt out. So I'm so bummed on that. <laughs> Moving on, uh, I'm going to do my splatters here just because I like to have these smushings. I'm so sorry about this kitten. She is just grabbing everything. If you hear the, the noise. So I felt like one of these colors will match better on here. And I was very, I don't know, I, I really like that cracked pistachio. But I felt like that darker blue would be better with the sticker that says happy, happy, happy. So that's what I'm going to go for. And I'm glad I made that decision. So for that one anyways. Um, I do use the cracked pistachio twice and two other ones. And it was so like light and it hardly, it was a perfect accent for the pages that I chose. Anywho, so uh, yeah, I think that kind of sums everything up. Are you participating in this challenge, the oodles and doodles uh, on Instagram? Would you be considered? I, I do not draw, okay? This is not like 100%, guys. I do not call myself um, a good artist in all things drawing. But the fact that uh, it gets me to be creative and have fun, that's the best thing, you know, for me. I just have fun with it. I... It gets me to want to draw more items throughout my day since I don't want to be placing photos in here. I'm not saying that I won't because, you know, some kind of event or memory will want me to. But, uh, oh, and another thing reminds me, that day he also stopped at the dollar store. We stopped at the dollar store and that's one of the place where they celebrate, I think, the small stuff. Are... Um, there was a ton of unicorn ribbon at the store and... I didn't know what to do with it. I wanted it so bad, but I didn't know. I, I have all boys and oh, I wanted it, but I didn't know what to do with all this ribbon that I probably wouldn't use for the boys. But anywho, so back on topic here. Uh, since I don't use pictures as often, it helps and creates, it gets me that creative flow that I'm looking for. It gets me, challenges me at the same time. And I also do that with the boys, so whenever they have to do craft time or something else, they will, um, 
Oh, my Lanta. Moonlight. She is just another little baby. <laughs> so, I just, um, and I really like the way they come out. They're going to come out all color by the time you see the, the, the overview. I'm deciding if I want to do crack pistachio or if I want to do something else. I think I go with, I don't even know, I don't even remember what I go for. Hang on, I gotta check. Oh yeah, I do go for the blue, okay. Yep, that's what I ended up going for. <sighs> Got the sniffles here. I get allergies in the morning, so if you, excuse me on that. <laughs> Did you see this film? I really love it. It's, uh, what is it? Raya and the Last Dragon. Oh, I just love, I was so excited when I found those stickers at the dollar store. They were, uh, wall to cows and, um, I've seen other things there that are just, uh, great. So great to use. They even have like a vintage, uh, style too. So if you wanted to have some kind of like shabby chic or vintage stickers there, uh, I thought about doing, um, some layouts inspired in that style. Here's where I use the crack pistachio for the background, and it just adds that perfect um, touch. And I'm glad that I didn't overpower since I wanted the to the stickers to kind of shine more. So I'm moving on to the six real quick because while I decorate the fifth, I have not talked about the six. The six, the challenge, oodle of doodle challenge, was to draw crayons. So I drew some in the on the bottom there, and if you have to draw crayons, you have to draw some broken, right? And um, I, as you can see, I have a deck of cards there that is actually a stamp set. It is the Sassy Club stamp set. And um, we are playing a game called Spoons. It is a card game. It's a game called Spoons. It's a card game and you actually get real spoons and you place them there on the on the table. You do You get one less than the amount of players, just like musical chairs. And you're... You get a hand of four, and uh, you're trying to match four, uh, all four cards in your hand. So, like, for example, the aces there, all aces are... You may get lucky to have two cards that are the same, or you may get all four cards different, and you have to gamble which card you want to um, stick with. And as you go, you're going to... each uh, One person gets to see the card and uh, from the deck... And they decide if they want to keep it or not. And if they don't, then it goes down the line. And you decide, oh, I was looking for another ace. And if they pass it up, or maybe they're also trying to get an ace. Or they put a card down from their hand that's an ace. You don't even know. So you're gambling uh, to see if, you know, you're a, you're racing to get all four of the same in your hand. And when you do, uh, you quickly grab a spoon. And then the other two figure that out. You know, the other two, three players I'll have to try and grab a spoon um, when they realize that someone got um, all their cards. Last one isn't going to get a spoon and they're out. So I really enjoyed that so, so much. My older son, Sean, learned that at school and he was so happy to share that with us. Again, I have a kitten in this room and she's just letting us know it. Moving on to day seven is where I felt like so many emotions that I wanted to draw out inside out and I colored in these guys and you'll see it in the overview I totally messed up on uh anger so I'm gonna draw redraw him in a circle and place him there again so anyways he was kind of botched anyways this is also the day for the challenge to draw um shaped ice so that's why I have a cone there at the bottom and my older son Sean got stung by a bee he said it ran into me a bee just ran into me he said I was just walking and it ran into me it made me laugh so hard because it just sounded so funny okay so I'm showing you really quick how I decided to journal this this time around um in different colors I originally bought this to journal in here I just didn't like the fact that they're I like the fact that they're erasable but then the downfall to that is that it has the tendency to to um fade within time but i just decided to use them because i love the color so much so if you've tried these pins before let me know down below <laughs> what's the expiration date on these um i may consider it something else but i started on day eight without even realizing it so you'll get to see that in the next uh flip through and um journaling with me process um i hope you stuck around <laughs> i know i would had a lot of background noise due to my kitten i'm so sorry um, but I hope you enjoyed the process either way. As always, thanks for watching. Bye.